Right, good morning everyone. Today we have a Neng Smart Multimeter. This is a Timu Special. Um, after playing about with that angle grinder last week, I thought I'd have a look around the workshop and see what other Chineseium bits and pieces I have. Um, and this is, a, I say, a Timu Special. Arrived a couple of weeks ago. I've used it once. It's one that sits in my car. Um, it's just cheap and cheerful. God knows how much it was. Fiver, tenner, fifteen pound maximum. Um, so, actually, it's, it works okay. But I thought what we do, we'll take it apart um, and go from there. So let's turn it on. I'll show you how it works. They say I've used this once in someone's car. Um, give you an idea of. I've got my normal multimeter here. Again, not overly expensive, not a fluke or anything, but, and that's in DC. We've got an old 18650 cell. Doesn't give a lot of volts here. It'd be better if I connected it up. I hurt my finger, I managed to screw my finger to a bit of wood, which is not nice. I literally had to unscrew my hand from my fence so what's that, 0.7 of a volt? So that's that one. Let's see what this is doing on the auto range. Here we go. It's minus because I flipped around the polarity. So let's have a look. There you go. So that's working quite well. We've got, should have roughly 20 volts here. If the probes will fit. Come on, probes. Probe, do your thing. So yeah, 20 volts there. This is what it should be. Let's measure it off against here. Against here. Wires everywhere. 20.4. Hopefully that's in frame. If it's not, just believe me. Let's turn this off, get rid of this one. So after that last video, Got a little bit trigger happy and um, went on to aliexpress and so i bought another angle grinder another one slightly larger still a four and a half inch but um a different angle grinder hopefully slightly better quality who knows because it's fake um i think it's quite good actually better than i'd expect for such a cheap multimeter whether i'd want to use them on mains voltage probably not um, they don't feel great, don't feel it anywhere near as easy as, as these ones, if you look at the quality difference. Oh, just nearly knocked the camera off. Let's try that again. Steady, steady. So yeah, quality difference. Night and day, but not too bad. We'll see how long they last. For a tank that sits in the car, not really a problem. Um, yes, yeah, so I ordered another angle grinder, going back to that. I ordered a quarter inch impact gun it's like a big one for lug nuts and stuff um and then a, another impact gun so similar to this one but slightly shorter i think so we'll do a bit of a comparison test between this and uh the one that i've ordered uh, and a laser level as well because i've always wanted one and this came out at like 35 quid delivered um, so obviously they're, they're normally a lot more than that. So we'll take all those apart one at a time and then we'll give it have a little comparison. I think we'll compare the, the cheap fake impact gun to the proper one. Bear in mind that has been used hard for a few years. So right, let's whip the batteries out in this and let's have a look inside, shall we? Um, they so say while I'm waiting for that, I thought I'd just take this apart, do this on camera. It's good for me because it's good for me to be able to speak on camera. Um, yeah, because at the minute, when I'm not working, I don't speak to a huge amount of people actually, other than my family, but they don't count. Right, let me get a screwdriver. Let's see, Let's see what we've got. I don't know what I'm expecting to find in here. Who knows? 
just not a lot. I'm thinking, I'm thinking a lot of air gap. But it'd be interesting to see the quality of it inside, whether it is really cheap, or if it all falls apart. A bit like these screwdrivers. This is like a pile of the world's cheapest screwdrivers. When I've got nowhere else to put them, when I think little screwdrivers come with a kit or another place to screen for a phone or something like that. Then I'll chuck the screwdriver in here. One, two, let's take this out. Got a little torch on this multimeter as well. Quite a good idea. When you, you hold up in a loft or in some sort of boiler room or something like that. Or you might consume it, it's actually up in a loft space. Not that I'd be using this for mains, but it's quite a good idea to have a torch. Right, are you gonna open nicely? Yep. Yeah. So, not a lot on that side. Let's get rid of these screws. Quality control passed. I'm not sure what sort of quality control that is. But it's possibly just a bloke saying, yep, yeah, that's a rectangle. Um, feels like ABS. Doesn't feel great, feels really flimsy. If I do that, I'd probably shatter it down the middle. There's no real flex in it. Um, I feel like I'm about to break that. No markings, plenty of injection molding marks there. Um, but everything's fairly sharp. That's the problem with these cheaper tools. Everything feels really sharp. Like that, I feel like I could cut my finger on that if I pushed hard enough. Right, let's have a look here then. So what have we got? Let's, let's bring that in a bit. One day I'll invest in a bit of a microscope or something. So let me get my pointer. So this is the first time me seeing this as well. So look what we've got here. That looks fucking awful. Wouldn't take a lot for that to, to come off. A real, really bad join there. Same on that side, not particularly good. I may remelt that. It's solid. It doesn't feel, doesn't sound, um, look great though. That feels okay. And that's okay as well. So we've got inline fuse. fuse there some little resistors there a lovely buzzer some unbranded chips it's to be expected yet yeah, completely unbranded same with that I, is it an IC? I don't know. I'm learning as I go. Cool little LEDs. You can see the layout on that underneath the uh, the resin. There's the on button. It just pushes a little micro switch. Nice mechanical focus. There we go. Maybe I'll invest in a little micro scope for the phone like I said before and uh, what we've got here I'm guessing this is a relay uh -oh. there we go not too bad really we've got um, a couple of bigger resistors is that what is this um, someone tell me what this is is it a cap is it just a capacitor but if it is, it's been squashed into the case there. It looks real bad. It looks like that join there would break. Wouldn't take a lot. Um, it's quite sturdy in there, but it wouldn't take a lot for me to break that off. Probably a drop of a couple of, you know, if I drop this a couple of times. Oh, there's bits, bits falling off it already. Um, what else should I take? Let's take the controller out. Focus. 
Yep, right, let's take this out and have a look inside. Let's have a look at the screen. It's just a basic LCD, nothing special. If I can get these screws out with my really bad screwdriver. out what's that oh, oh, oh. Um, that's interesting that it's almost like a micro a USB-C charging port there that they've just filled with rubber I wonder what's on the other side I wonder if um, some of the models of these are USB-C charging and this is just a cheaper uh, AA battery or triple A's Focus. There we go. The camera doesn't like going in and out of focus too much, as we found out in the last video. Right, let's just whip this off. I might have to invest in some small screwdrivers. I don't normally do a lot of smaller stuff. Small as it goes, motorbikes normally. Right, that's the case in. Again, if we can get this to focus. Same sort of ABS material. Super cheap, super sharp. Again, if I, if I twisted that, I'd snap that in half. Without any problems. Right, let's take, what can I take off this? Here we go. I wonder how this is connected. Is this ever going to work again? That's what I want to know. Right. Is that the connection? Oh, okay, so the actual screen's... be better if I have it in focus, actually on the screen. So the screen's soldered straight onto these three points here. And it's just a backlight, a little bit of white. Be interesting, I could write something on that big penis or something on it. <laughs> no. Don't like the white, does it, the camera? Come on, sort it out. Start flashing. There we go. Right, we'll have to go without a light. I'm not sure what's going on here. Come on, screen rate. Stop here. How's that just started like that? This is a professional setup, as you can see. Right, hold that thought. Right, back again. We've had to change cameras on this little phone. Um, I don't know why, but the LEDs are flashing quite quickly and the camera's picking it up, it's almost sinking speed-wise. Um, so we've got the screeny screen, I'm guessing that's the actual LCD's display. And then we've got a whiteboard. I wonder if I get anything to show up. I'll chuck that in there. Let's hold that down, put the batteries in. Do we get anything? Science. I don't think we will. We got noise. And nothing there until we had the actual LCD. So I'm guessing this is just a, a white background with some sort of magic in it. Right, let's put that in, connect that up. Give that a good old press. It's gonna be have to be screwed down, I can imagine. And there we go. So we've got life. That's cool. I didn't know how they worked before. So yeah, um, 
again quality wise is what I'd expect that's a little bit cheap and shitty um, but not too bad I feel like the um, Chinese bits and pieces are getting better quality oh, look at that. they are getting slightly better than they were still I wouldn't risk my life on this I wouldn't be doing any mains electrics but I'm guessing that inline fuse would blow but who knows is it just a rod of is it like a nail inside there would it actually blow or would something else blow instead um right I'm gonna stop I'm gonna leave that there it's all from me look at the sun it's 11 past 11 and uh it freezes still outside I'm gonna leave it there I'm gonna put all this back together hopefully it'll still work and then you can go back in my car. Next video from me then will be some of the new fancy scam tools. So, like I said, I've got four on its way, four different tools, and we'll take them apart one by one, and we'll hopefully do a bit of a comparison video as well, especially with the impact gun. Maybe with a big, a quarter inch impact as well, using one of my air guns, but we'll see. Right, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, tell me what I've done wrong in the comments. Tell me what some of this stuff is and then we can sort of learn a little bit together as well um it's quite yeah interesting really um right best of luck take care it works look at that there's quite a lot of resistance from or is it oh, that's better look at that all auto magic One, two, twenty volts. Uh -oh. oh, I don't know. Broken. Bye.